Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be learning how to use a wireless receiver and wireless transmitter. All right, guys, so today we have something awesome planned, and that is we're going to move um, some stuff over in this area. Kind of want to make a, another little building over here, but first we have to get um, our system over here. Like, we have to get our uh, store system so we could. Uh, have a crafting setup over there um, and to do that we need a wireless transmitter or we need yeah, a transmitter with refined storage we need uh, this right here a network transmitter and a network receiver I already had one of those auto crafted we need a network transceiver let me start that oh yeah we don't have uh, diamond that's right I have diamond in here let me go up here and show you real quick I did create um, I have an enchanter right here, and I went ahead and made a fortune. I made two of them, one to enchant this pick, and vice versa, and to enchant uh, a book for this guy. So let me go get those books. Um, I have, oh, I have this fortune. I actually lost the other fortune book on accident. Um, I'll just have to make another one. They're not that expensive. Oh, actually, it's in here already. So here it is. Um, but we are going to uh, enchant this guy, the staff as well. And so uh, all we have to do is have some experience. Don't know how much experience. Let's say at least 30. And we need to put this in here with the book. It's only going to cost us six to put fortune on here. So let's do that. So now we have in our staff of power, we have fortune. And we can use that to mine ourselves a bunch of diamond. And we should get quite a bit from this. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good amount. Like each each block we break gives us quite a bit. Oh yeah. Perfect. Um, I can actually make this even faster by increasing the dig depth up to seven and it should mine all of them just like that yep perfect this is eight so it should oh, I guess it does take them all yeah it leaves these yep and we should have all this diamond that was a whole 64 stack of diamond there it goes oops i was digging down not what i wanted all right how many wow we tripled our base almost tripled almost tripled our uh, one stack of diamonds uh, but this guy has it on there so we sh it should be doing the same thing now automatically not have to worry about it i um, mean it is in the void dimension i don't know what that's all about but it is in the void dimension and we are good to go there. All right, so now we can go back down, or actually we can craft it right here. And we should be able to craft the network transceiver. Well, actually we gotta put the diamonds in there. Network transceiver, right? Yes. Wait, a network transmitter? What is this? Network transmitter. weird saying it needs a network transmitter to make a network transmitter I can't be right I'll have to look just want to make sure that that's not what that's actually saying I did put it in this one so the network transmitter okay it doesn't need it, it just, that was just weird I guess that's what it was making um, but we also need to make more GP now in the recent beta that I was on um, yeah my the grid power was whacked it went crazy um, I could not fly anywhere I actually disabled up because I was trying to fix it my chunks here and I need to actually chunk load this area I think you have to chunk load um, at least I'm going to um, but we can actually get even more grid power and we're going to do that real quick before we start moving everything. To do that, all we need 
is a mill. The uh, dragon egg mill. I do believe it is one of these right here. Um, I love how it says power given one GP um, because it is not just one GP. Um, you need the eye of redstone. Okay. Actually, we're gonna make like two of these for just no, you know, no reason. I um, think we need redstone gear, two of those. And I think we have everything else. So two of the dragon egg meals, we're also gonna need two eggs. I have like 535 dragon eggs. It's crazy. Um, and we'll just place these outside here. Doesn't really matter where they go. And then you place that right now, it's not generating anything. Place the dragon egg on top, it generates 500. So just like that, 500 and 500. So now we have 1,254 grid power, and that should last us for quite a while. All right, so let's get our wireless network set up now. So at refined storage, we can get our network transmitter now. And I think that is the only thing we're gonna need um, to set this up. I think we have to hit our crafting terminal on there. Um, network receiver, network transceiver. I don't think there's a thing that you have to use to connect them. Uh, is there? Network wireless, okay, network card. Yeah, we're gonna need one of these guys. So we need advanced processor. Where's it at? And that's all we need in paper and some quartz enriched iron. So yeah, that's that's all we're gonna need for that. Should have some of this. And there we go. All right, the network card. I don't know if we need more than one, but I think we need at least one. All right, our network transmitter, we're gonna have to place in our network. Um, and we can place that, I guess, right here. All right, so we're kind of blocking all of our light, but that's fine. Um, I think you put the network card in this one. Do you believe? The network card has to be linked. Thought. Maybe it doesn't. Missing network, still missing a network card. Forgetting how to... Shift click, shift click. Maybe the transmitter. I thought the network card is supposed to go in the transmitter. Maybe it's supposed to be the other way around and we place the receiver out here. Let's go place our receiver. And let's see. We can't place a network card or anything in it. Huh. This currently has no power. Does And I don't think it needs a controller, so... Something's off. I might actually need to turn uh, the dig depth off. Because that's ridiculous. Okay. Um, let's, let's just try replacing this. I think you're supposed to be able to use this network card linked. Okay, so it's linked to here. And then this guy will be hooked over here. Place our network down. Place our card in there. And it should work. 84 blocks away. Okay. There we go. I have to wait for that thing to come to full power. Alright, so it's 84 blocks away. We should be able to get this thing working. Alright, let's check. 
Let's get ourselves a... Where's it at? A wireless transmitter. Wireless transmitter just requires one of the cases. And it also requires... Where's that? That's it. Uh, advanced processor. So it shouldn't take too long at all. Should be about done. There we go. Alright, and we'll go ahead and craft the range upgrades. We'll need four of those. And those will take a bit, but we can go ahead and set this up. We should be able to craft and connect to our network over here now. As soon as we place this on here. Oh, we can't place it on there. Huh. We should. Maybe maybe we have to have some other kind of block that's connected to it. It's like a crafting monitor, maybe? Or a grid? Still learning this. Still learning it. I've not actually used the monitor. Okay, so we can probably hook a disk, another disk drive to it. We have our range upgrades. Go ahead and get a disk drive. Shouldn't take that long to actually get a disk drive. These guys with all their speed upgrades. There we go. Maybe we can hook the disk drive up. See if it has power. And see if we can't hook it that we can't oh it has to be hooked to a cable wow look at me look at me go it has to be hooked to a cable okay so let me just get a cable over here doesn't hurt to have a disk drive we're gonna need one over here anyways but now I cook that there we go Put all of our upgrades in there there's no wireless Is it not working? It should extend the range of our wireless network. Unless the thing is not seeing those blocks. The receiver. I don't even see the transmitter. So that is an issue. This, the network receiver that should receive the network. Like. Hmm. The transmitter should transmit. You know what? I think it's just backwards. That's what I think I should have done. I should have linked the card to this. And yeah, and that changed. And now we swap this around, and then it should work. Place this down, place the network card in it. It should work. So I had it right the first time. There we go. Now it's just backwards. Now it's working. Now it's costing 386 RS a tick to power that. Okay, and then we should be able to use our crafting card now. Let's see, can we? Yes, before we couldn't, so now we can. Perfect, so now we basically set up our wireless... Uh, or, or extended our grid by setting this. You can basically set this anywhere. If you want network in the uh, uh, nether, I think you can even do it. So, yeah. So now we have this. Um, we need to get a few things. I think my next thing I want to work on is going to be Embers. Um, embers has a, uh, quite a few things that it can do, but the main thing I want to get is the smeltery, um, which is pretty nice, really fast once you let it work for a while. But the problem with embers is some of the stuff is really big um, to make, and there's not a whole lot with embers that I really 
would like to have. So uh, the blocks are really nice looking. I do like the uh, uh, Kamenite, I think is what it's called. Kamenite or Canonite. Yeah, uh, Kamenite, something like that. Um, which is these, which is clay and bone mill. So yeah, this stuff is going to be pretty cool to make. Uh, we need a... Let's see, what's the first first part of making this? I have seen this being used a bit. It is... You know, you think it'd be one of the first things on here, but it's not. Um, I don't even think there's a book. I think there's a guide. I don't think there's any kind of guide showing how to use this or anything. So um, they're supposed to be working on it. As you can see, there's some missing textures and stuff for stuff. I don't even see the the actual uh, block. Huh, maybe it's not. Oh, there, there here's pieces of it. These are, yeah, these are the stamps used to make those uh, dies and stuff. The activator, um, the, whatever the ring is, a mixer centrifuge. Yeah, there's some, there's a few stuff in there or a few things in there that I would like to have, especially that smelter. But I'm gonna work on a building over here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue this this kind of design or kind of go off, but there is some some other stuff I'd like to do. Um, especially taking this. Let's actually go ahead and, and work on that while we're over here working with the fry and storage. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and get ourselves a constructor and deconstructor. Um, I kind of want to have those patterns craftable. So a construction or constructor and a deconstructor. Let's place those inside here. And then... We can go ahead and make those, make one a piece. And what else? We're gonna need Fortune 3. I think I want Fortune 3 on this guy. So we're gonna have to get us our F Fortune 3 book. All we need is a book. Uh, right here, Quill, let's get two of those. We're gonna need like 60 levels and some emeralds to get a fortune. I think we need two fortune threes, one fortune three. Actually, we only need one. So let's go ahead and get ourselves fortune three. We have 27 levels. How perfect is that? So there's our fortune three. Um, let's see, let's make sure. It just requires a fortune three. Great. Perfect. And we will use that. We'll go ahead and make a pattern for it. And we'll set that in one of these guys. And we can go ahead and make that. Make sure my fortune book is in here. This is missing fortune one. Oh, I crafted the fortune one. Actually, I did the wrong one. Turn or dictionary off. Let's remove that. Take these out. Let's make sure we click the fortune three one. There we go. Now it should take out our fortune three. And a refined storage. There we go. Awesome. So Fortune 3 ready to go. Start. Then we have our constructor and deconstructor ready to go. Awesome. And this should be done. Perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this. Let's see. I can have the constructor place side by side on each other. 
with some cable. So let me take some cable. I can actually do it right here. Um, let's see, can I put the constructor... Okay, that's facing the wrong way. Need it facing towards the block. So let's put a block here. And take the constructor, place it here. Put the deconstructor facing this, and then we'll connect it with cable. Just like that, and see it breaks the item. So, what I'm gonna do is set this with a fortune upgrade. I'm guessing you can have more than fortune. Let's actually try that. Let's go ahead, well, we only have one fortune book, so fortune three is gonna be fine enough, but I think it can do better. So let's go at, or actually, let's just get diamond. We have 21 diamond ore, and I don't want it to start immediately, but we can put this it's going to construct a diamond ore, pull it out of our system, and it's going to start breaking it. Awesome. And as you see, our diamond is increasing and it's doing the fortune. So yeah, that's a pretty way, pretty easy way of getting this stuff out. And let's also try redstone because we have a bunch of redstone ore. So we can have this working as well. You can also put speed upgrades in these things as well. You're probably not going to see this one working because we already have 6,000. But some of the other ore, it works as well. I think it works with stone. So you can set this to automate stone. I do believe this. Uh, you set a crafter or something in here. And uh, it will it will work. But yeah, this is another way of doing that. So, um, refined storage has some pretty nifty things you could do. You can also set this up and make yourself a uh, like kind of quarry, but I don't recommend it since we already have other methods of doing quarries. All right, so I'm so excited I can actually move my wireless card. I might actually uh, add some some more of those um, all over our base so we can access it everywhere. But so nice to be able to access it over here. So I think I'm gonna go with some uh, some nice building stuff. If you guys don't mind, there's not that much uh, time left, but um, yeah, today I actually hit a thousand subscribers, like as or at least at the time of the recording, I hit a thousand subscribe. I mean that happened so fast. Um, it took like a whole year to hit 100 subscribers, and then bam. I'm at a thousand, so I really appreciate you guys. That I mean, that is awesome. Um, can't do it without you guys. You guys have to take the time to click that subscribe button, um, and it it's awesome. So yeah, this is uh this is kind of going to be our beginnings of our little house. I think I'm going to make a house this time. Not a very big house, but just a little nice cozy house. Um, I might actually move this system around, so it's not it's not going to stay here. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on something. Or actually, I might make a bridge. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do something, something pretty pretty nice. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this episode, I know it wasn't a very long one, but there's actually gonna be um, another video posted today as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a special video um, for the 1,000. And yeah. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys, and thanks for subbing if you did. Um, if you did it, go ahead and click that thumbs up button, and also click that subscribe button. Um, and don't forget to ring that little notification bell as well. And I appreciate you guys, and as always, thanks for watching. I can find a way. I can find a way.